Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chess Pacific episode 118. I'm your host, The Wiz. Today we've got our work cut out for us because there's a couple of different ways to play this variant that we're trying, Jadis Chess, and I want to find the best one. So if you're watching this, let me know in the comments or in the chat which of these you like best. Well, the way it works is like this. Jadis is a famous queen, evil queen from the land of Narnia, and she has this wand. She magic wands you and you turn to stone you can't move so jadis chess the pawns have that ability when a pawn attacks something that thing can't move now the first way we're going to try it is that the thing can't move for one move so you got to take it next move otherwise it's getting away it kind of melts off and that's sort of like was there aslan who's like breathes on the things and then they can move again so this is like the aslan variation of jadis chess so let's try um rated because i'm crazy and throw one of these links into the chat we've got some people who want to try this i'll also start up my favorite game here notepad.exe and type uh piece piece that was attacked by a, an enemy pawn last move cannot move I think that's what I'm going to type. See how this works. It is Westches. <laughs> We're fighting against the venerable Westches. Very difficult to beat this guy. Um, he's everything good about me. And then all the bad things removed, probably. A piece that was attacked by an enemy pawn last turn that cannot move. Now, this is pieces only. Let's play the Sicilian here. So, uh, pawns are not affected. Let's see if he, he's got that. Because I wouldn't want to have him... Why is this so loud? This is loud in my ears. Turn this down a little bit. I wouldn't want to have him, uh, like, not know the rules. Not have him. So every now and then, you can't trust a guy like West is simply untrustworthy. So let's say I manage to get my pawn right here. His knight cannot move. So I could take it next turn. However, then the turn after that, if I don't take it, then it can move. Because it was just, just affecting the last move. So that's the first way we're going to try this variant. And I think... I think this is a great time... Knight, I'll type this. Knight is frozen because uh, I don't want him to move that knight. Just because it's gotta, it's gotta watch out with West Chiz, you know what I mean. Okay, so I have to take that knight next move, otherwise, it can get away. We're gonna also try the variant where things attacked by pawns can never move, they're just stuck and frozen uh, forever. And that's more like before Aslan came along and Jadis is just like, You're all stones, except she doesn't say that because it's kind of rude. He's gonna run out of time here. How much time does he have? Like 15 seconds. Hmm. Okay, I'll take that. And then uh, this is a super valuable pawn, because if I can attack a piece with it, it will be frozen. Let's see. I need to get castled. Let's get let's get these pieces moved. I want to castle kingside. Hmm. I like capturing this way. Suddenly my pawns are fixed. Thanks, pa uh oh. Hmm. Okay, so my bishop cannot move. Uh, somewhat problematic. Somewhat what? And if I play here, he can do the same thing to me here, although not at the same time, right? So he takes that, then I take this, and then he can just freeze me with a pawn. Man, this is somewhat difficult. Let's just play the knight here. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's just play the knight here and then castle. See how it goes. There's definitely a risk, is what I'm noticing, of getting your pieces out where they can actually do something. For example, if I play my knight here, pretty good square. Nope, because it can be frozen by an enemy pawn and captured. So the pawns form a sort of uh, territory ownership, 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 ownership. Oh, sorry, I kind of got stuck on repeat there. Let's, uh, F5? Awful move. Let's play it. Hmm. Definitely has a huge downside of making my bishop bad. If you want to improve at chess, one of the things you can do is don't watch me play chess. That'll help uh, help you improve. So I have just lost my knight because it's now frozen by the evil queen. Let's see. I'll take with the queen. Just so my bishop's a little more trapped in. So I'm just down a piece now. Hmm. Not the best play. However, I could do things with this pawn. For example, advance it, advance it, and lose it. Three things I can do. Two-thirds of them are advance the pawn. Let's get the pieces into the game. One of the most important things to do in chess. Get your pieces into the game. It's right up there with eat oatmeal. Maybe I'll play my rook up here. This is opposite color bishop's kind of thing. Now, he does have an extra knight, but let's not 
fret ourselves with such details. Let's get instead skewered by the enemy bishop. Seems pleasant. So my bishop will play here. And I'm hoping he's just going to wander into the Jadis trap. Let's find out. Program Fox says, but whiz, watching bad examples is a great way to find out what not to do. I guess that's true. Yeah, you should watch me play chess so you know exactly how you should not play. Because if you can rule out all the bad moves, you're only left with the good moves remaining. This pawn seems a very vulnerable. What if I were to capture it? I better start this way. I mean, if it advances and freezes my uh, rook, that would not be a great start. Okay, so I need to get two attackers on here, maybe three or four, and it's going to fall. Let's keep the enemy knight out of the game. It is way out. Look, it can't come to these two squares. And if it heads back here, I freeze it to death using my freeze pawn ability. So this is looking good. Oh, I should have taken the rook, I think. Now I can't really... I guess I'll take it now, now that it's ineffective. Wanted to bring his pawns into the doubled vulnerability town, but this is the next best thing. So I'm going to pick up this pawn. I'm going to use two attackers here. He has only one defender and no way to bring in more defense. I don't think he should have advanced. Pawns that are far advanced, they're knights, right? But he had before something called a protected past pawn. And that's a pawn that's passed and protected. Great name, huh? It's uh, protected by a pawn. It's actually kind of weird that it has to be protected by a pawn to be a protected pawn, but that's just the way chess players make up their lingo. So this pawn protected by this pawn and no enemy pawns able to stop it in these areas here makes it protected pass. Super, super strong. And then he advanced it and then it was just a pass pawn and now it's completely in the pass. Too bad, pawn. Hmm. Yeah, he's trying to get his knight to here. So let's attack. This is actually looking pretty good for me considering I'm down a million things. So this move would uh, would jade us his bishop. Let's do it. Let's do it. If a piece is attacked by a pawn on the last turn, the piece can never move. <laughs> Great comment. Yes, that's 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 true. That's kind of like saying if you die while you eat something and then something else witty after that that I can't think of right now. So I've just been jadist in reverse. I guess that wasn't so smart of me. And now my advanced king has to make up for the fact that I'm down a knight. And I think it can. I think it can. This is a very amazing king I have here. Hmm. This pawn is concerning, though, if he's able to capture this one. But the power of my pawns. I'm ahead by pawns, and pawns are the piece that's most amazing in this variant. Does that make any sense? No. Let's go take these pawns. Yeah, there's definitely a concern here. Probably not wise to be doing this. <laughs> yes, I slowed his knight down by two moves. And now, can my king prevent that pawn from advancing here? Take. He has to move his knight. And then I go here. Hmm, I'm kind of trapped out. Let's promote to a queen. This is an interesting endgame, actually. I was feeling like a few pawns for a knight was not so good. Ignore all the huge mistakes we've made. But because my pawns have Jadis power, it makes them worth a little bit more. So overall, I'm doing fine. So I actually survived stopping that pawn. Now his king will just take all these things and I'll lose. That's too bad. Interesting, I guess. Can't advance this one. He'll take here. Um, but I could do this and lose that pawn. No, no. I, I don't think I want to do that right now. What if I check him? He takes something and then I push. It's my only chance. So I don't run out of time up there. You can see I just have a two. That's not enough. Okay, this is my only chance to draw. Interesting. Wiz Chess drawing against Chess Wiz. West Jizz, whatever his name is. This is a great, great finish to the game. By great, I mean large. Check. 
now I might win. Oh, look at these bonds rolling forward. Oh, this is great. How you guys doing today? We are still alive by definition. I'm happy about that. Okay, he's in big trouble now. He is in big trouble. Two pawns to a knight. I can't jadis him right now, but soon he can't win with only a knight. Unless I'm extremely stupid. I guess it's possible. I guess it's possible for me to be extremely stupid, but I'm going to click the handshake button. Offer draw. Draw. Good game. Interesting. Glad I survived that. Wow, it's looking bad for a while. We've got a game from Zasper. We have Alush Tarvi. He wants to play anti-chess. We're not going to try that. Boom, boom, TNT channel. And Sanki of or whatever that is. I'm going to play with Sanki. His name is so good. Let's try that variant one more time. I think I just need to not move my pawn, my pieces over there where you can just take them. I think that's my new strat. Okay, king cannot move if attacked by pawn. That is true. Kings, bishops, queens, knights, rooks cannot move if attacked by pawn for one move. So that's going to be deadly. Now, after this game, we're going to try cranking it up a notch and saying they can never move again. So they'll be permanently frozen. Um, I've just Ed told you the rules. He says, what are the rules? The rules are a piece that was attacked by an enemy pawn last turn cannot move. Um, a rook or bishop or queen or king or knight and then paste. That was... Delete, 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 delete. That was... Okay. I got my English words into my computer. Let's play chess. A rook or bishop or queen queen that was attacked by a pawn last turn cannot. Just move over there, just trust me. Just trust me, and also let's play. Okay, so what do we got going on in the chat? You checked last game with a pawn. Oh, I should have won that, because his king was frozo. Of course, then he would be, uh... yeah, I deserve to win that. Oh, just like life, just like life. You're, you're going along, you don't even realize what you deserve, and you realize what you don't deserve. You're like, that is my sandwich, and you don't realize that like you don't deserve that sandwich. Wow. I'm constantly realizing untruths. And thinking that they're true. All right, let's try some French defense. Because pawns are so good, it's probably good to get your pawns way out there and way up. So let's, like, way play this move. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play b6 and bishop a6 because I have a virus in my brain. It's called the bad move virus. Let's try it. You checked last game with a pawn and the king moved away. Thank you for reminding me that I deserve to win that game. We can't sub you, says Kshkakskukun, and then he's crying. Well, you can sub, you can kind of sub me. I mean, you can give me a Subway sandwich gift card. Is that subbing me? Eh, yes and no. You can also find the channel on YouTube at youtube.com slash chesswiz. Good luck spelling that. And then you can subscribe over there. That's a thing you can do. Okay, I'm, I want to I wanna own this guy with a with pawnage. I want to pawn this guy. Let's see. I really want to play g5, actually. So first we've got to play f6. And then we've got to play g5. I do my thinking looking away from the board. Hmm, and then I'm going to play... Oh, I'm looking at the board now. That's weird. g4, and then I'll win the piece. Let's bring this rook into the game here. Let the bishop will go here. I'll castle, and then I'll start throwing my pawns away. Perfect. Perfect. This is such a good plan. Okay, Bundus says he's late. But don't worry, I'm late noticing that you're late. I'm not going to take any of those. I'm just going to keep doing the thing. I can actually just throw g5 out right now. Oh, no! I'm frozen in place. Let's try this move. Let's bring some freeze-dried knight to the game here. Or at least frozen. Frozen knight should be good. Should be good. Mm -hmm. I have discovered, and this might be true of you too, I've discovered that I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Boom! Froze your night. Froze your night. Any perfectionists out there in the chat? A few perfectionists? Turns out perfectionism can be a great asset, uh, or it can be a big, big problem. One of the ways it becomes a problem is if you have your perfectionistic attitude toward other people who are not perfectionists. So you're like, you need to behave perfectly. 
and do this perfect thing. <laughs> For example, there's this one person who's like, you need to get out of my way, go to bed, and then I'll clean the house kind of thing. There's this, it happens. That's not me, of course. I'll never clean the house, but I'm thinking about Bishop here because he just cheated. That night was frozen. That night was frozen. Take back accepted. Nice try. Trying to distract me with perfectionism while you cheat. No, I, I never cheat. So, huh? He's trying it again. You cannot move that. Move with that. That the. You can't see what I'm typing, but it's a bunch of gibberish. See what else is going on in the chat. Fonza Curry says, what a weird person. He must be looking in the mirror. Take back sent. Hmm. Jadis is a character in The Walking Dead. I didn't know that. Well, Jadis is also in the Narnia stories. Sounds like a Star Wars villain. I like that. Come on. I hit your pawn, he says. He says, I hit your pawn. I can move the knight after g4, I move d takes. Oh. It's not cheating. Bummer, dude. He, um, there was a move in between where he, during which he unfroze the knight. Here I am trying to accuse him falsely of cheating. Let me give him some time here. Okay, so what have I done? I've lost a knight, but on the bright side, I have this huge pawn storm going on, and so I'll just win with checkmate. It's an interesting strategy that people sometimes use. Win with checkmate. Let's go this way, actually. Because if I, if I take this en passant, then it just releases the fury of his stuff. So it come in this way, and then I'm going to the next move I'm going to make. Uh, he proposes a take back. Oh, no, a take back. No, my queen, I hate this variant. Oh, I could do this. <laughs> okay, I'd rather have his fury than lose my queen. It reminds me of the first, first car in the book of Genesis, in the Bible. You guys know which car that was? It was the Ford Fury. No, the yeah, the Ford Fury. Is that a Ford? I don't know. Anyway, because it says when when uh, when Adam and Eve ate that apple, the Lord drove them out of the garden in His fury. Makes sense to me. So now, how do I win? Let's see. Oh, I'm frozen again. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll counter that move with my counter. Just move pawns. <laughs> uh, what do I do now, guys? I don't know. Take some center. Well, at least I'm getting second place this game. I mean, there's something good. Actually, it's very, very good when I lose at chess because I can take losing. I've played thousands, tens of thousands of chess games, and I lost several of them. So I'm okay with losing. But some of my opponents have never lost at chess, and I don't want to scar them psychologically. So it's it's good that I'd be the one to lose. That's That really is better for everyone. And for the viewers, too, because you guys all see this from my perspective. From your perspective, you're like me. You know what I mean? You are like me. You don't want to admit it for obvious reasons, but you are like me. And so seeing me lose makes you feel good about yourself. Scientifically proven, which is another way of saying I made it up. Okay, I see that he's continuing to move things. Let's freeze the knight. Yeah, his knight is so Jadis frozen by my... Uh-oh. So I'm an idiot. We have made one deduction this game. And that is regarding the... Regarding the... The status of idiocy. It's in the affirmative. I'm resigning this before this gets any more embarrassing. Good game. Bye. Wow. Wow, that was pretty cool. Okay, so it turns out you can't just freeze a knight and breathe easy. If you can be checked, then <laughs> it's too bad for your queen. Let's take another opponent. We've got Boom Boom TNT Channel, which is an entire username right there. Let's change the rules now. Let's try it where a piece that is attacked by an enemy pawn can never move again. That would have really helped me last game because... Uh, because that knight that was taking my queen wouldn't have taken my queen. Much, much better. Much better. So now, a piece that is attacked by an enemy pawn can never move again. Kind of like when there's no one around to melt the stone, the stay stone forever. He says, I have to go right now. Can I play you next Sunday? Maybe. And then I'll send him a less than three, which tells him his age. Let's play someone else instead. 
But thank you for the game. Boom, boom, TNT. I would call that a draw. Let's play with um, Zasper because he's one plus four. And this other guy, look at his challenge. You can't see it. Oh, you can see it right up there. Three plus two. Like, what is that? Four? You can't even add. Okay. Let's go. The rules. A piece that was attacked by an enemy pawn. He's like, oh, it's my turn. You can't see half the chat. Let me change the view here. Okay, can you see that now? Yes, you can. My ear is covering my time, but you can see. Piece of attack my enemy pawn can never move. It's my turn? Okay, you got that. Great. Can never move again. Okay, so this means pawns are like gold because they're both yellow. Okay. I just made that up. They're not actually yellow. Oh, no, there's somebody following me. This is creepy. Jennifer Shahad. <laughs> Is that the real Jennifer Shahad? I don't know. Jennifer Shahad is now following you on Twitch. If you don't know who that is, well, it's someone who's really good at chess. However, I don't think it's the real one. For every actual Jennifer Shahad out there, there's hundreds of people who are quote-unquote named Jennifer Shahad. But it's because you can name yourself on the internet. It's, it's really the reason. Oh, no! He could have just caused my knight some serious pain here. Fortunately... He didn't. Now he can cause my other knights a serious pain. No! Fortunately, fortunately, I could just take that pawn with my knight. So now this is a great position. Look how I'm, I'm really controlling the center with my knights, guys. Look at the control I have. It's like this, which I've always wanted to do that without looking like a dorky gangster. Yeah! Look at these knights. This represents my knights right now. Uh, I've got some big problems here, but I don't care because I'm not looking at them. Have you ever noticed? If you ignore your problems, it's as if you don't have them until you uh, die of cancer. I knew someone who did that. Um, they ignored their cancer, and then they died of it. So that's, that, let that be a lesson to you. I'm not sure what the lesson is. Don't ignore cancer, I guess. Whatever. My knight is under attack by a pawn. It can never move again. That's good. I wanted that to happen. Let's see. I'm thinking of Queenie, too. Okay, okay, I'll play that. Never mind the fact that he can freeze another of my pieces. I'm never minding it. I'm just ignoring it. Next week's going to be so fun, kind of like this week. It's going to be Crazy Start Positions 3. If you take a look at previous episodes on YouTube, you can find such episodes as, for example, Crazy Episodes... No. Crazy Start Positions 2. And also, Crazy Start Positions... One. Now, the first Crazy Star Positions is the number one most watched episode on YouTube if you narrow it down only to Chess with CD. I mean, if you also expand it to, uh, for example, the Ellen show, there are actually some episodes on there that, that are watched more than crazy episodes, whatever. However, if you just say Chess with TV, that's the number one right there. There goes my night. But that, look at this fork right here. Look at it. I'm looking at it. And I'm feeling good. None of my pieces have been frozen. Again, should I take this? Otherwise, I lose a bishop. Oh, well. Who needs bishops? I don't need bishops. I'll just freeze his enemy bishop with my freezer pawn. Oh, I'm now I'm frozen. Well, you didn't just take me for free, so that's nice. I'm getting out of here. I wonder if I should move any of my remaining pieces, or if I should just move my knight around forever. I'm thinking knight forever is a good strategy. But maybe I'm... Oh, no! I only have things I have never moved. I'm forced to make a good move. How depressing. Okay. Yeah, Crazy Start Positions 1. The most popular episode. It was so popular, in fact, that I look at my analytics. That's the word for the things that tells you that. And then I said to myself, Self, I said, you are handsome today. And then I said, you should do another one of those. You should do crazy episodes too. So sure enough, Crazy Star Positions 2, I don't know why I keep saying the other thing, was a smashing success because YouTube says, oh, that's similar to this one I'm recommending. So it started recommending number two. And of course, oops, Zasper, out of time. GG, good game. Am I winning? I have two rooks. You have one. I have bishop, two knights, pawns, pawns. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't see the time. That was, that was close. That was a good match. Bad chess, good match. I enjoyed that, Zasper. Challenge me next week. We'll do the same thing. Let's take take our next opponent here, turn him into a losing chess player. Kyung Yongin is his name. He's chosen casual, so I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Oh, look at that center. So good. 
It's the best. Only the best center. Uh, now it's kind of equal. Which, that's full circle there, because equal is a sweetener that causes cancer. So I'm referring to my earlier discussion, which is a sign of intelligence. I'd like to point out, I'm extremely intelligent. Just as a hint, people who tell you they're intelligent are less intelligent than people who don't, just as a general rule. Except for me, that's the one exception. I am so smart. There we go, yes. Um, let's see, what's happening right now? Oh, we're still playing chess. Man, I should switch this show up and be like, okay, a game of League of Legends, and now a game of Hearthstone. Let's play some StarCraft II. All right, back to the chess. That's how everyone who's cool does it, but uh, it's just, for me, it's just chess, 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 chess. That's why I call myself Cheese Whiz. Zasper lost a rating point. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, he could have been freezing my bishop all that time with his stone freezer. Can I just take that for free? Oh, he's going to freeze my queen. Look at this. It's an entrapment. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay. I could freeze its bishop, too. Suddenly, suddenly, I am awake. I am... I'm woke. The world is not as it seems. You have been created for the purpose of losing to me at chess. Fulfill your destiny. Hmm. Well, since I can't move anything, I guess I'll take this and then I'll trap his knight with my entrapment powers. Are you guys having fun? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm having fun and I am not you. So it really makes no difference. He's going to trap. Hmm. Uh, who cares? I don't care. And so no one does. There is a theory. It's called something. And it's the theory that you were the only person, or really I, it's, it's given from the perspective of the person giving the theory is the only person that really exists, actually. I mean, I know I exist. I know what it's like to be me, roughly speaking. But you? I've never been you. You might be an animatron. Or just a fancy name, of fancy word for something. What's an animatron, anyway? Well, to animate means, like, to move. Have you ever noticed that? Ani, like, movement. And so an animal is like a moving thing in nature. Let's just checkmate him, and then we'll just worry about what to do later. Checkmate Jimmy X is called the hands-free checkmate. Checkmate. Good game, Kyung Yong Nin. We should have done more freezing. I mean, like, we could have just frozen each other's bishops right at the start. Like, move two. That was fun. Werder challenging me wrong. This one, what, one plus five? You cannot do the math. I'm going to play Werder because at least it adds to five. But one plus four is the way you should be challenging me. All right, Werder. I'm liking this permanent freeze because I don't have to keep track of whether you're frozen currently. So let's put the, put the rules in here. Make sure he's okay with that. Raluk Super has a comment. He says, you guys are putting too many pieces on the fifth rank. Yeah, stop moving here. In fact, you can't even move here safely these days because, and then you're in pain. Okay, he's in. Okay, so we're going to be very careful with the bishops. We're going to be very careful. I wonder if g5 is good. This is like the reverse elephant gambit here. d6, probably not good. Yeah, I think we have to fan counter these bishops. I mean, this move, you, you're dead, man. And then this one's even worse. So let's just let's just be a little safer. Let's slide them into the corners. Okay, let's see. We got a, something in the chat. It says, if I ever get future contacts and earpieces. Good way to start the sentence. If I take this with this cheating cook move here, he will freeze my knight. Well, then I won't take it. Nice try, man. I'm not falling for your bait. I'm going to do the double fianchetto. Okay. If I ever get future contacts and earpieces, I'll allow you, ChessWiz, to view a live stream feed of what I am seeing and hearing. What a generous thing. I so wish that you would do that now. Never mind. <laughs> I've had that thought the other day because I've thought most thoughts in the universe, as you know. And so one of the thoughts I thought, since it's a possible thought to think, so I just went ahead and thought it, is that my life, if viewed by someone else would be extremely, extremely, extremely boring. Very boring. I mean, like, I could sit in one place for 30 minutes and just think about all the different thoughts there are to think. But for someone viewing that, I'd be like, that's not even what I want to think right now. And it would be very boring. 
And then I thought, well, you know, that's not so bad. Everybody else's life is just as boring, too. It turns out there's some people who do things besides sit. This is a revolutionary concept for me because I basically just sit all day. And as you know, that uh, is very unhealthy. There's a new saying out. It says, uh, sitting is the new cancer. Going back to our theme. Uh, and it's, why did I do this? <laughs> I don't know, but at least I told you that sitting is the new cancer. That's the important part because it's so unhealthy. In fact, I'm going to stop sitting right now. This is, this is awful. Uh, I, can't, I can't bear to sit right now because I'm giving myself sit cancer right now. Cancer of the sitage. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm on my knees, literally begging myself to not sit. Oh, this is so much better. Get out of here, chair. Rolly chair is gone. Okay. Okay, I'm not sitting now. I can feel the cancer reversing already. This is perfect. Yeah, in case you uh, do a lot of sitting all day, I would urge you to... Um, what should you do? Well, what you should do is set a timer for 30 minutes and stand up for one minute every 30. Yeah, also with your eyes, you should look into a distant into a distant object, such as uh, the eyes of your future bride. It's very distant. And, the, and those two simple facts will keep you living a long and healthy life. Following those facts is what I mean. The facts by themselves will do nothing for you. Let's see. Oh, it's my turn. Play actions in a state of confusion. I'm playing this. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm, oh, chess. Hold on. Hold on. I'm playing chess. There's three things here, and there's three things here. So if I move this pawn up here, he could take, 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 but then I would take, 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 take. I'll do it. Um, I'm playing a game of Through the Ages on my watch, because that's how cool I am. And I named the game A State of Confusion, so that whenever it's my turn, it comes up with a notification. It's like... Play your actions in a state of confusion. <laughs> yeah, that's my sense of humor. So I, and then I see that notification, like, okay, here goes the confusion. I am in a state of confusion. And uh, that's the whole story. Thanks for watching. But I'm not done with this chess game. I have to beat this worder guy here. Let's see how we're doing. I cannot get much done in this game. He's not blundering enough. Okay, so now he's removed my defender. And if I take this, then I will lose that, which is bad. But if I don't, he'll just take me here, which is also bad. I'm currently in check. <clears throat> what if I... I'm going to be stupid. Stupidness is, is currently commencing. I'm going to try to cr trap this bishop with my bishop trappers here. And then I'll just go take it whenever I want. That's the new plan. Okay, so here we go. Oh, your bishop is trapped. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take me forever to capture that bishop approximately, which means I'll never do it, but at least I have the moment of glory when it feels trapped. Hey, I could freeze his knight, too. That's what I should do. I should freeze his knight. Frozos can't move knight ever again, colon D. I like to send colon D with my messages because you can't tell if I'm smiling or if that's actually an indecent body part. And so it's like dual meaning right there. It's perfect. All right, I'm, I'm dropping frames. Hold on. Stream output video bit rate two bits per hour. That should be good. Should do the trick. If I'm getting blurrier, don't worry. It's me, not you. I'm the one that's blurrifying right now. Okay, so if I play this, do I actually trap the bishop? Kind of? Yeah. Uh, if I take this... I'm taking this, man. The, the knight is stuck forever. If I just walk past it, it can still never move. It's been turned to stone. In fact, that's my new strategy. Is just freeze all the things and then leave them on the board. Yes. And so... Uh, oh, his bishop got out. Hmm. Uh... There's a, this is a weird time control. There's only two seconds added on this increment. That's somewhat concerning. What does he have planned here? 
Okay, discovered attack on your queen. I just noticed that. That's why it's called a discovery. <laughs> I love that joke. Hmm. Okay, that's a good move. But I can counter it with my granite. You don't get it? Because it's because counters are made of granite. Okay, fine. Don't laugh. Mm. There's not enough increment on this clock. Oh, I've been frozen. I'll just take it. Mm. He proposes a take back. Okay, is there a problem? What's the... Oh, it's... it's Oh, time out. <laughs> well, I deserve that for cheating. So he froze my bishop, so I'm not allowed to take it. I should have taken it this way. But I would be permanently frozen, so that would also be stupid. Fortunately, I ran out of time, so I don't really have to decide. Well, out of these two variants, I want to hear which you like better, whether it's the one-time frozen or it's the permanent frozen. But now we're going to try one more variant of the variant, which is that the pawn, not only does it freeze the bishops, knights, rooks, queens, and kings, it also freezes the pawns. So we're going to play permanent frost for everything. What challenges do we have here? Some pretty good ones. Herbert. Herbert is ready to play. That sounds pretty good. Anything that was ever attacked by an enemy pawn can never move again is the new rule. Let's paste that in there. Okay, so let's try this variant. I want to hear which one of these you like best. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the YouTube comments whether you like the one-time freeze, the permanent freeze. You can even try this with your friends if you have any. That's um, not possible for me, which is why I'm doing this on the internet. But... And then there's the third one right now, which is even pawns are frozen by pawns, which is just delicious because I love frozen foods. Oh, no, I'm frozen already. So this is going to be epic, and we haven't even started. Because if I, like, defend that, he's like, bam! Oh, no, we're freezing each other. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> uh, we can't move our pawns. And I'll send a colon D just for that little... Oh, you can't see the colon D. It's over there. You see it? Okay. Now it's going away. I had to share that with you because that's all I have left here. It's not like I have any witty things to say. So all I can do now is show you indecent ASCII characters. Hmm. Shkak is good. Shkak. That's an interesting username. Our pawns are stuck forever. <laughs> this is stupid. This is so stupid. I love it. You know what I love? Stupid thing. When do I love them? Now. Oh, I saw this great, this great browser um, joke. You guys know Internet Explorer is the best browser, right? Internet Explorer is the number one browser for downloading Chrome. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love poking fun at Internet Explorer. So Chrome is like, what are we? And all the browsers are like, browsers. But IE doesn't say anything. And then and then Chrome is like, what do we want? Opera, Safari, Firefox are like, we want more speed. And Chrome is like, when do we want it? Opera, Safari, Firefox, now. And then IE is like, browsers. <laughs> uh, excuse me. You're supposed to be the one laughing. Sorry. Okay, all the pawns are frozen all the time. This is going to be so stupid. We're going to make a mass of pawns that can never move. Hey, I can just take that pawn. I'm doing it, man. These pawns can never move again. <laughs> but just wait till I take all your things. See how you like that. Yeah. Okay, so now you're... So I could freeze your queen, but then you could freeze my pawn. <laughs> I'll type LOL several times. This is the way you used to laugh if you were very amused. See that right over there? La, 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 la. That's like a 2005 way to laugh. If you're, if you're traveling back in time and you need to seem cool, watch Chess with Stevie because I was cool 12 years ago. Okay, so everything is frozen all the time in here, but, but, I just wanted to say but. <laughs> um, the, the clock, the clock. If I take this, he'll freeze me. That's not good. Now I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to slowly but surely dominate this guy. Next, I need to capture his queen. Well, why would I bother? It can never move again. What should I do, actually? I don't know. Let's just go take the rest of his stuff here. He resigns because I'm so good at chess. This is an interesting variant, too. So you have to tell me if you like this one best. Because... 
I kind of did. I mean, it definitely abused me the maximally. So like I said, next episode is going to be Crazy Start Positions 3. If you have Crazy Start Positions you want to share, like starting positions that are crazy, just to explain what that is, be sure to send those over. You can send me a message on this website, lichess.org. Find the real chess whiz. It's spelled like that, and it's not any of the other crazy spellings like whiz chess and chess, wes chess or whatever they are. Don't send messages to those guys. They'll bomb you with their bombs. So just send messages to me with those starting positions because I already have a huge collection, but I would like to see yours as well because I like looking at other people's things. This has been Chester TV. Thanks for watching.